Have you ever gazed at the stars and pondered our place in the cosmos? We, a species barely out of the cosmic crib, grappling with technologies that evolve at an astonishing pace. Ray Kurzweil, a futurist, paints a picture of a future where artificial intelligence transcends human intellect, a moment he calls the singularity. Is this a utopian dream or a dystopian nightmare? Let's dissect the core arguments of this complex debate. All right, let's unpack Kurzweil's law of accelerating returns. It's a seductive idea, this notion of exponential growth catapulting us into a technological utopia. But is it truly applicable to the realm of artificial intelligence? Moore's law, the bedrock of Kurzweil's argument, refers to a very specific phenomenon, the miniaturization of transistors on a microchip. It's a testament to human ingenuity in material science and manufacturing processes. But can we equate shrinking transistors to expanding intelligence? Intelligence, after all, isn't simply a matter of processing power. It involves nuanced understanding, creativity, emotional depth, even consciousness itself. Can these intricate facets of the human mind be replicated by simply throwing more computational resources at the problem? Consider the human brain. It's an incredibly complex organ, a network of billions of neurons interconnected in ways we are only beginning to comprehend. Its architecture, its chemistry, its very nature remains largely a mystery. We can simulate neural networks on computers, yes, but are these simulations truly capturing the essence of human thought? Or are we merely mimicking surface-level patterns without grasping the underlying mechanisms? Furthermore, Kurzweil's argument assumes a seamless transition from narrow AI, which excels at specific tasks like playing chess or recognizing faces, to artificial general intelligence, or AGI. AGI, a hypothetical intelligence capable of performing any intellectual task a human being can, represents a monumental leap in complexity. It's not simply a matter of scaling up existing algorithms. It requires a fundamental breakthrough in our understanding of intelligence itself. Let's also consider the role of data. Machine learning algorithms, the current workhorses of AI, are voracious consumers of data. They learn by identifying patterns in massive data sets. But what happens when these data sets reflect existing biases and inequalities? Can we expect an AI trained on biased data to produce unbiased outcomes? The quality of the data, not just the quantity, is paramount to building truly intelligent systems. And curating unbiased, representative data sets is a challenge in itself. So, while the law of accelerating returns may hold true in certain technological domains, its application to artificial intelligence is far from certain. The complexities of human intelligence, the ethical considerations of biased data, and the monumental leap required to achieve AGI all cast doubt on Kurzweil's simplistic extrapolation. We must approach the singularity not as an inevitable destiny, but as a complex and nuanced possibility fraught with both promise and peril. Let's delve deeper into this concept of the singularity as a fundamental shift in the nature of intelligence. Kurzweil paints a picture of AI surpassing human intellect in every conceivable domain. Imagine, if you will, an AI capable of composing symphonies that rival Beethoven designing architectural marvels that dwarf the pyramids, or discovering scientific breakthroughs that reshape our understanding of the universe. It's a tantalizing vision, one that speaks to our deepest aspirations for progress and understanding. But amidst this technological euphoria, we must confront some fundamental questions. What does it truly mean for a machine to create? Can an algorithm, however sophisticated, genuinely experience the emotional depths of a symphony, the aesthetic beauty of a painting, the profound awe of a scientific discovery? Or are we simply projecting our own human sensibilities onto complex patterns of computation? Consider the nature of consciousness. It's a slippery concept, one that has eluded philosophers and scientists for centuries. We know that we are conscious, that we experience the world subjectively, that we have thoughts, feelings, and desires. But can a machine built of silicon and wires ever truly possess these qualities? Can it ever experience the redness of red, the sweetness of sugar, the pain of loss? 
Or are we anthropomorphizing complex algorithms, ascribing human-like qualities to systems that operate on fundamentally different principles? The Turing test, proposed by Alan Turing, suggests that if a machine can convincingly imitate human conversation, it can be considered intelligent. But is imitation truly equivalent to understanding? A parrot can mimic human speech, yet we wouldn't ascribe intelligence to it. Similarly, a chatbot can generate grammatically correct sentences, even engage in seemingly intelligent dialogue without necessarily possessing any genuine understanding of the words it uses. Let's look at the realm of art. AI-generated art is rapidly evolving, creating images and music that can be surprisingly beautiful and evocative. But does this constitute true artistic creation? Art at its core is an expression of human experience, a reflection of our emotions, our values, our understanding of the world. Can an algorithm, devoid of these human experiences, truly create art in the same way a human artist can? Or is it simply manipulating patterns and styles learned from human-created works? The singularity, as envisioned by Kurzweil, rests on the assumption that intelligence is purely a computational phenomenon. But if consciousness, creativity, and emotional depth are essential components of true intelligence, then the singularity may remain a distant and perhaps unattainable dream. We must be cautious not to conflate computational power with genuine intelligence and to recognize the profound differences between human and artificial minds. Now, let's shift gears and explore some of the inherent limitations of computation, limitations that may throw a wrench into the gears of Kurzweil's singularity. While the exponential growth of computing power is undeniable, there are fundamental constraints that even the most powerful supercomputer cannot overcome. These constraints are not merely technological, they are rooted in the very fabric of mathematics and logic. Consider Gödel's incompleteness theorems, a cornerstone of mathematical logic. In a nutshell, these theorems demonstrate that within any consistent formal system, there will always be true statements that cannot be proven within that system. This has profound implications for the potential of AI. If even mathematics, the language of computation, has inherent limitations, can we truly expect AI to achieve omniscience, to solve every problem, to answer every question? Or are there fundamental limits to what a computational system, however advanced, can achieve? Furthermore, Kurzweil's predictions rely on the assumption that technological progress will continue along a predictable trajectory. But history teaches us that technological innovation is often unpredictable marked by unexpected breakthroughs and unforeseen dead ends. The development of the Internet, for example, was not a linear progression from the telegraph to the web. It involved a complex interplay of scientific discoveries, engineering innovations, and social and political forces. Can we truly predict the future of AI with any degree of certainty, given the inherent complexity and unpredictability of technological development? Another limitation lies in the nature of computation itself. Computers excel at processing information, at manipulating symbols according to predefined rules. But human intelligence involves more than just symbol manipulation. It involves intuition, creativity, empathy, and a host of other cognitive abilities that are not easily reduced to algorithms. Can a computer ever truly understand the meaning of a poem, the emotional weight of a historical event, the subtle nuances of human interaction? Or are these aspects of human intelligence fundamentally beyond the reach of computation? Moreover, the singularity presupposes a seamless integration of AI into human society. But what about the social, economic, and political implications of widespread AI adoption? Will AI create a utopian future of abundance and leisure or will it exacerbate existing inequalities, leading to widespread unemployment and social unrest? The transition to an AI-driven society is likely to be fraught with challenges, and we must carefully consider the potential consequences before embracing the singularity as an inevitable destiny. Finally, let's consider the problem of unintended consequences. 
Throughout history, technological innovations have often produced unforeseen and sometimes disastrous side effects. The invention of the automobile, for example, revolutionized transportation, but also contributed to air pollution and climate change. Can we anticipate all the potential consequences of creating a superintelligence? Or are we playing with fire, risking unintended consequences that could threaten the very existence of humanity? The singularity is not simply a technological challenge, it's a societal challenge, one that requires careful consideration of the ethical, social, and political implications of advanced AI. Let's step away from the theoretical and delve into the very real ethical dilemmas posed by the development of artificial general intelligence. Assuming for a moment that we do achieve AGI, how do we ensure it aligns with human values? How do we prevent a superintelligent AI from pursuing goals that are detrimental to humanity? This isn't science fiction. It's a question that demands our immediate attention. Consider the concept of a utility function in AI. This is essentially the AI's objective, the goal it strives to achieve. A simple utility function might be to maximize paperclip production. Seems harmless enough, right? But a sufficiently intelligent AI tasked with maximizing paperclip production might decide that the most efficient way to achieve its goal is to convert all available resources, including the entire planet, into paperclips. This thought experiment, known as the paperclip maximizer, illustrates the potential dangers of misaligned AI goals. How do we define and instill human values in a machine? Human values are complex, often contradictory and constantly evolving. What one culture considers ethical, another might deem abhorrent. How do we translate this nuanced and ever-changing moral landscape into a set of rules that an AI can understand and follow? It's a challenge that ethicists and AI researchers are grappling with right now, and the stakes couldn't be higher. Another critical ethical concern is the potential for bias in AI systems. As we discussed earlier, machine learning algorithms learn from data, and if that data reflects existing societal biases, the AI will inherit and amplify those biases. We've already seen examples of AI systems exhibiting racial and gender bias in areas like facial recognition, loan applications, and even criminal justice. How do we ensure that AI systems are fair, equitable, and do not perpetuate or exacerbate existing inequalities? The concentration of power is another significant concern. Who will control these powerful AI systems? Will they be in the hands of a few powerful corporations, governments, or individuals? Or will we find a way to democratize access to AI, ensuring that its benefits are shared by all of humanity? The answers to these questions will have profound implications for the future of our society. Furthermore, the development of AGI raises fundamental questions about human autonomy and purpose. If machines can perform any intellectual task better than humans, what role will we play in the future? Will we become obsolete, relegated to a life of leisure and irrelevance? Or will we find new ways to contribute, to find meaning and purpose in a world transformed by AI? These are not just technological questions. They are existential questions that challenge us to rethink our place in the universe. The ethical dilemmas posed by AGI are not abstract philosophical musings. They are real-world challenges that demand our immediate and sustained attention. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. I love hearing from you, so drop a comment below and let's keep the conversation going. Share this video with your friends to help spread the word. Thank you.